Hey guys, today we're graphing on the coordinate plane. So write down this title and then we're going to go through the coordinate plane. Okay, so coordinates are X and Y points. So if we were given a point like this one, negative five comma three, this is the X is the negative five and the Y is the three. Okay, so what that means is with the X, it tells us where to go along this axis, along the horizon, okay? So in this case, since it's negative, we are moving left, but typically you either move to the left of the origin or the right of the origin. So in this case, we're moving one, two, three, four, five. Now, the second number, the Y axis, tells you how many to move up or down, and in this case, since it's positive, we're going up one, two, three, and that's where we place our dot. So the origin right here is at zero comma zero. So this is the point at which all of your other points originate. Makes sense that its name is origin? Okay, so what we're going to do then when we are plotting points is we always start here, and again, like this one, we moved back five, and then up three. So let's look at some more. Okay, so we have some points here, A, B, C, and D. Let's look at A first. We start at the origin, and for A, we've moved one point. So for A, our X value is at one, and then we moved up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our y value is at eight. So a's coordinate point is one comma eight. Okay, so now let's look at b. Along the x-axis, it's at a positive seven, and the y-axis is at four, because it's starting at the origin, going over seven, and up four. If we look at c, it is at three along the x-axis, so going over one, two, three, and up two. And then finally at D, it is going over to the 10 from the origin, positive 10 and up six. So 10 comma six. So we can write the coordinate pair, or excuse me, the ordered pair whenever we have the points on the graph as well. Okay, let's put this together. We know that our first point is A, and it's at three comma seven. Start at the origin and move over one, two, three, and then go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we plot it and we label it A. Okay, for B, we're at negative four, so start at the origin, and we're going back one, two, three, four to negative four, and then up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because it's a positive eight. Okay, your turn. Why don't you graph for me C and D, and I'll be back in just a second to show you what I did. Okay, so for C, we are going to take and we are going to move it nine spaces and then down seven. So here is our C. For D, we're going back two places and down four. So here is our D. Okay, so what do we notice about A? A is in the first quadrant. That's what we call it, quadrant one. And notice that both numbers are positive. The X is one, two, three, and so on. And the Y's, one, two, three, and so on, are positives. So in quadrant one, they're both positive. B, however, had a negative X. That was because these X's are all going to the left of the zero, which is negative, but the Y's are still going positive. So if you notice here, your X is negative and your Y was positive. See if you can figure out D and C's situation for quadrant three and quadrant four. I'll be back in just a second to show you what I did. Okay, so for D, the X is negative over here, and then we're going below the origin. So the Y's are also negative, like negative one, negative two, and negative three. And for C over here, 
we're back over where the x's are positives but we're still below the origin so the y's are negative so go ahead and draw this for me quadrant one quadrant two quadrant three and quadrant four these are roman numerals so if you want to put quadrant one two three and four next to them so you know the roman numeral and our numbers that we use okay and then make sure this is just a sketch you don't have to do all these lines and everything make sure that you have the positives the negative positive for quadrant two the two negatives for quadrant three and the positive negative for quadrant four okay now that you're finished sketching that let's plot some more points grab your paper for me plot e f g and h and i will be back in just a second to show you what i did okay get ready here's my answers make sure you check it with a red pen okay so notice e and f are both at negative three and this one is up one while f is up six okay g and h are both y at negative five so when we look at these they're the same spot on the y-axis but different on the x okay check your work and now let's look at it from a different perspective so here are my points again now what they want us to do is find the distance between point e and f okay think back to absolute value when we did absolute value we found the distance between zero and a number in this case we're finding the difference between these two points so if we're looking at e it's one two three four five units away does that make sense so you're counting the distance between E and F. So the distance between these two is five. Now, let's make an observation about this. Notice that their negative threes are the same. That means that they're in the same line on the x-axis, right? They're both starting from the origin at a negative three. Since E starts at one and F starts at six, we're finding the difference. Difference means to subtract. So if you're looking at this, it's the difference. Six minus one gives you five, so that's why it works. Okay, try to figure it out with H and G for me, and I'll be back in just a second to show you what I did. Okay, so with G and H, if we look here, we're finding the distance between these two, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six units away. So the way we can look at that are these two h is two units from zero so positive two and g is four units from zero so positive four so their difference between these two is the six units so if we look again at e and f this one is three away from zero same with this one so when we're looking at these we're finding the difference between these two numbers and to find the difference it's five now these two are the same so we have to look at the two opposite which in this case are our x's four and the negative two now the tricky part for this one when we're finding the difference is we need to look at absolute values that's why we did the positive two and the positive four now on your test i will give you the option of going ahead and plotting the points and then mapping out the distance if you need to so let's challenge ourselves a little bit right now though let's try to find the difference between these points without graphing okay so here we see that the x's are the same so that tells us to focus on the one and the eight over here we see that the threes are the same so this tells us to focus on the negative four and the four so since these two have the same signs all we have to do is think eight and one and subtract and we know their distance is seven and then we write units okay because we it's not inches it's not feet we don't really know it's just a unit okay however over here if we look at the negative four and the four these are different signs meaning he is four away from zero and he is also four away from zero so four and four make a distance of eight Okay, for the last slide, you're gonna try some of these on your own. Okay, so go ahead and try these and I'll be back in just a second to show you what I did. 
All right, grab your red pen. Since the signs are the same on these two, three and seven are both positives, I know that I can just take the difference and get four units because they're both X's are negative four and the Y's are different. We're finding those differences, those distance. Over here, my Y's happen to be the same, so we're going to find the distance between the X's. Now, notice he's a negative integer and he's a positive integer. So we have to look at this a little differently. We have to ask ourselves, how far away is he from 0, which is 5, and how far away from 0, which is 2? So our answer in this one is 7 units. And we can always go ahead and plot them on a graph to check our work. And that's all I have for you today. See you next time.